846, uh, welcome back everybody uh, to CTV Morning Live. You've heard a lot about uh, what the Canadian Taxpayers Federation has to say about MPs pension today. Gregory Thomas is here from the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. Good morning, how are you? Good, thank yeah, you. I know it's been a busy morning for you talking about this issue. Uh, it seems that uh, MPs pensions are overblown, in a word. Well, uh, Charmaine Bourg, uh, if she's re-elected, she'll be eligible to, for $40,000 a year starting at age 55. She's making $158,000 a year right now. She's 21. Um, That's one of the, uh, the NDP MPs that uh, nobody knew about? One of, yeah, one of, one of the newcomers. And uh, you, can't, you can't quarrel with the choice of the people. They're bringing a lot of energy into the House of Commons. But they're, I think they're also being well compensated for the work they're doing. Sure they are. What? Well, um the, the issue that might spark a, a lot of interest and a lot of, um, well, maybe even some anger is the fact that uh, it's the Canadian taxpayer who is, it seems, contributing the greatest amount of money to MPs' pensions. $23 for every dollar MPs put in. So um, MPs, uh, parliamentarians put in just under $11,000 a year from their from their uh, salary, which is almost 158000 a year. Mm -hmm. <coughs> mm -hmm. And then Canadians put in two hundred and forty-eight thousand dollars a year, which is ninety thousand more than we actually pay the MPs. Right, right. So you need only to be an MP for six years to receive that full pension. That's right. Yeah, it kicks right. in when you when you hit fifty-five. When so you, you hit gotta, fifty-five, you've got to make old. it. Uh, no, right. no. You, you start at forty thousand, then it goes progressive. That that's uh, the minimum for two terms. So you got to pass six years, and then we, we we're basing all these calculations on people uh, leaving office in 2015 or in right. the case of the the newcomers from Quebec 2019. Right. But you do have to get six years in you before you get, get any years. sort of pension? That's right. There's a fellow from Newfoundland who had five years, 10 months and 29 days. He, he came in in a by-election. And he gets what? Nothing. He lost. So uh, you can bet that he'll be offering his services in the future election. Right. I mean, who wouldn't? Right. Well, I'm considering it myself now. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, when you no, think no. about it. I mean, this is, you're getting, like you say, there are, there are young people, 21-year-olds, uh, that uh, are rookie MPs getting paid well above the average Canadian salary and looking forward to a pension that the MPs govern themselves. That may be the most disturbing part of all this. Well, especially them telling the chief actuary of the office of, super, of the superintendent of financial institutions to basically go pound sand when he said that they're charging us, they're gouging us on the interest rate they charge, because they charge 10.4%. Who gets 10.4% on, on their pension funds? A, I wish I knew. I'd it's put, a bizarre number. I know, and he said, well, w would you guys look at maybe five and a quarter? And he, he didn't hear back. And that was two years ago. I mean, rates have gone down since then. How is this allowed to happen then? Like, wh why is this the case when others are, uh, you know, struggling to have a pension at all well you know they say there ought to be a law but there is a law and the MPs passed it and that's what the law says it says they can set their rates and they set it at 10.4 percent and and it's it's great work if you can get it what do we do about this do we is all we can do complain yeah I mean certainly make go, some noise go to taxpayer.com sign our online petition phone your MP phone the Prime Minister's office uh, email these people and uh, you know, let them know how you feel about it. I mean, I understand that MPs in general have a, a great amount of responsibility. You know, they're, as a group, they run the country, and that is a, a responsibility that's not taken very lightly. But the bottom line is, this pension deal is unfair to the people who vote these, these people into office. Yeah, it doesn't pass the smell test, no. and, and it makes uh, it makes people very cynical, especially when uh, they raised CPP and employment insurance contributions. Mm -hmm. Everybody's paycheck's $142 lighter this year because yeah, they right. need the money. Yeah. yeah, we're financing this whole thing. Listen, thanks for your time. I know we've been very thanks busy today. I appreciate on. it. Uh, find out where our, our newscast uh, has been covering this all morning long, of course, uh, the Canadian Taxpayers uh, Federation. Heather Moxley's in the kitchen making healthy cabbage rolls. Huh? Sound good? Yeah, yeah. We'll be back with that more right after this.